we have to see if uh, given line segments, this time they don't talk about lines, they specifically talk about line segments, so between two points, so it's a segment between these two points and a segment between these two points, if they intersect the segments themselves, not the lines. Again, it's a simple algebraic problem. All you have to do, you have to come up with the parametric equation for the segment and see if you can solve for lambda and mu in the corresponding system. That's all there is to this example. Uh, so first I have to remind you what, what was the equation of a segment. You can go with the A, B thing, but in fact, if I zoom out, if you let me zoom out, I'll take you up here. I specifically remember I gave you this second form of the equation of the line, this one. And that's the one which specifically address the question how to find the parametrization for the line segment passing through two points. A uh, line actually passing through two given points, but the line segment between two points will be the one which correspond to the choice of the parameter lambda between zero and one, you see? Well, you can include both zeros and one if you want to include the points and points also, but still, that's the interval for the parameter which will correspond to the segment, specifically for the segment between two points. So all I have to do with those two four points, I have to build this kind of equation, and I have to restrict my parameters and those equations to this segment. Let's do that. So here's my two points, uh, four points, sorry, for each of them I have equations. That's the equation of the first line. This is the equation of the second line. Again, you see, I, separate, I distinguish the name for the parameters because they're two different parameters. They shouldn't, shouldn't be mixed together. And that's my segment adjust, or adjustment. So you see, I can find my two parameters, lambda and mu, within zero and one, which just tells me that all I care about is the segment between two points. Now, we have to solve for this. I mean, we have to see if my, first if my lines have any intersection. For that, we do it the same we did with the, with the example just before. We just build up this system, this system, asterisk system. So if I build this system, uh, well, it's, that's a bit of the arithmetic involved. Uh, for instance, if you take the first component in this line, uh, lambda here involved with the coefficient two, with these two coefficients. Uh, yeah, there's no any free term because this one will be canceled by this zero. Now on the other side, mu will appear with this one and uh, mu appear, it appears with this one and mu appears with this four. So it's together, it's because it's negative here, it's free and the free term will be just one. So that's the, how the equating the first components will look like. If you equate second component similarly, you will have this. If you equate last component similarly, you will have this. Do I have a bracket here? I do have a bracket here. That's the system you're looking at. So on the top of the things we did with the example before, in the example before we just tested that the system doesn't have any solutions. This time, well, we might have we might have two outcomes. We might have two outcomes. One of them will be system doesn't have any solutions. Then you write, you just, you're done with the question because then the segments also don't have any intersection. Right, because system doesn't have any solutions, lines do not intersect, segments, the E4, also do not intersect. However, if the system has a solution, which means lines intersect, now to, from that to conclude that the segments intersect or do not intersect, you have to check that the solutions you will come up with will fall within these two boundaries. Probably I'll stop at this stage and I'll let you finish it, especially because the handwritten solution in your lecture notes. So in comparison to the question we did before, you have to first test if you have solution or you don't have solution. If I remember correctly from my memory, I think the system will have a solution. If any of you have the printout, printout of this handwritten solution, you might even tell me what the solutions will be. If you say that the lambda is two and mu is one, let's just test this. We can test this, two and one, look at this. Four and four, five and five, and four, and no, sorry, negative one, and negative one, thank you very much. We do have intersection, but because you see my, my lambda went out of this interval, we do not have intersection of line segments. Thank you for this, for this answer. 